simple life. Something about those aches and pains from working on the farm. Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms in the mountains of North Carolina. Today I want to talk about replacing this. This is a Husqvarna 128LD. I've had this thing for about five years and it's definitely seen better days. Um, not a bad weed whacker at all, but a little heavy and uh, not cheap. So it kind of, it's not dead, but it's, it's ornery. And I decided I wanted to replace it. When I did some research here, I came across this. This is Badger, Wild Badger. And so I'm going to unbox this thing. We're going to take a look at it. The reviews say, hey, this thing is the equivalent of the Husqvarna. It does accept the same attachments as the Husqvarna. And it's like half the price. And so that's why I'm willing to take the chance that this is going to be a nice little piece of equipment. Half the price. And, you know, basically the same capabilities. So... Let's go ahead, I'll move the camera closer in, we'll take this thing out of the box, we'll set it up. I've got some two-stroke gas here, and we'll give, it a, we'll give it a spin, literally, and we'll go see what we, can, what we can do with it. I'll give you my honest opinion. Let's do it. Wild Badger, 26cc trimmer brush cutter. Sounds good, twist and load trimmer head, just like the Husqvarna. It does come with a shoulder harness, that was extra on the Husqvarna. I remember having to buy that for my wife. Industry leading warranty, six years for the homeowner and three years for commercial. So if you're using like a still or a Husqvarna that's going to run you a freaking fortune, well, this thing has a pretty good warranty even for commercial use. On the side here, it says trimmer and brush cutter, lightweight and compact, full cranking engine, trigger is ergonomic, universal connectivity point. That means it takes all the attachments. So I have like a... Uh, a tree trimmer attachment, a little mini chainsaw thing. I have one of those. It'll fit that. And you can put different shafts on it and all the rest. Aluminum is what the shaft is made out of, so it'll probably fairly light, I would imagine. All right, let's open her up. Uh, this comes from Amazon. I'll, I'll leave a link to where you can get one. It was, uh, like I said, about half the price of the other, the Husqvarna, which is pretty impressive if you ask me like they've got copying these engines down pretty well like a lot of Honda clones out there I did a review a while back on a tiller and I actually have a Honda tiller of exactly the same size and it was just incredible to me that I mean that engine was 100% a Honda clone and so like why spend the extra money for pretty much the same thing so here's the end here some assembly required, it looks like. Okay. And I'll move the camera back here once we get it all unpacked, and I'll go ahead and assemble it for you. Yeah. There's our harness. I won't be attaching the harness. I can't stand these things. My wife likes to use them, but they drive me nuts. Tools. Wow, we've got a bunch of stuff to assemble. All right. Oh, so it does have a, a cutting head there, a metal cutting head. Here's our regular head for it. And then here's the main piece here. And the handle. All right, let me get this out of the way. We'll move the camera angle again, and we'll put it together. All right, let's see here. I'm not sure what that. This is just warranty information here. Here's the actual manual. I assume there's some assembly instructions included. All right. Important starting instructions. Pull three to five times. Oh, wait. Move choke to start. Prime engine ten times. Pull three to five times. Move choke to run. Pull until engine starts. Cool. Good enough. Trimmer and brush cutter straight shaft. Wild Badger Power is the name of the company. Like I said, it looks almost identical to the uh, Husqvarna model. Quick start guide. Here we go. Assembly. When connecting the upper and lower shafts. So we're just going to put those two together. And that would be this piece and this piece. Get this out of the way. Like I said, I'm not going to install that. But we have a nice protective cap. In the main unit here. Take off the other protective cap, slide this into place. It should snap. Yeah. 
There we go. And then you tighten that down. That actually feels more substantial than the, than the Husqvarna, to be honest with you. All right, that's step one. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I closed the book. That's not good. Step two, attach the handle. Fix screw, uh, sleeve two. What's that? Okay, so it does come with some tools. We'll go ahead and open it up. I'll try to just use the tools that came with it. I figure that's the best way to show assembly on that. One thing I can say I like about it as I attach this is there's a, a huge rubber grommet that goes in between these two halves. And with that, you're talking about taking a lot of the vibration out of the handle. That's going to make it so you don't get worn out quite as quickly. Uh, I like that a lot. Also, this is very heavily padded as well, far more so than the uh, Husqvarna model was. Okay, step three, it says attach blade guard. That's this piece down here. And you can see they've already got some bolts attached to it for you. And that would be the larger Allen head. They include both sizes you'll need for this, so that's really nice. I'm trying to remember back all the years that I don't recall any tools coming with the uh, Husqvarna except for maybe a spark plug wrench which is kind of standard so the fact that it comes with assembly tools is nice I like that all right and then lastly we flip this over and we have a large nut that's in here and it even comes with that if I can get it out of there there we go and we're going to take that out set these aside because these are for the other blade here which i won't be using today but i certainly do do brush cutting with it so we won't want to throw that out and that my friends is it we're ready to start this thing up um, i'll set these aside looks like it comes with a couple of extra zip ties in case you want to straps get your straps and stuff set up properly so you can see i will say the strap is more substantial it's like a harness basically which is really nice, but again, I have a bad back, so I have to be really careful about what I use when it comes to that sort of stuff. But yeah, that's it. Let me put some gas in this baby, and we'll take a look and see how well it performs. So it has a safety right there. Have to be holding that in order to rev it. And then we have a always on with a constant off or temporary off button, right? You hold it to kill it. Nice. If you want to hook up the strap, there's the mounting point right there for the strap. Over on this side, pull. We've got a um, primer bulb under here. That's what you're going to be pressing 10 times. 50 to 1 mix, which is nice. They even covered the uh, spark plug wire, which is nice. And then our air filter is here. Um, Weight-wise, yeah, I'd say it's about the same as, uh, as a Husqvarna. Maybe... Maybe a few ounces lighter in the head, but that's good. Kind of, kind of keeps it on the ground. All right, let's take it outside and see what we can find. All right, well, let's give it a try. So I'm going to put it on its side here. I'm going to put the uh, button up to start. I'm going to prime it 10 times like the manual says. And that should be that. Okay.
Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, I like it. Idles well. It works. Seems to work pretty darn well. The uh, brush guard there seems to be doing its job. A little bit of kick up in the face, but you know, I should have safety glasses on. I forgot to bring them up here. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with it. I like, I thought maybe I wouldn't like the safety, but it's very intuitive. You, basically, if your hand's on it, you, you know, it's gonna be used the way it should be used. So there's not a lot to that. Um, Weight-wise, I feel like it's almost identical to the Husqvarna, for better or worse, depending on your age. But yeah, overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. It's got plenty of power. Noise level's the same. I mean, here's the bottom line. I went with this because, well, it had halfway decent reviews and, uh, and the price, the price, the price. That's all, that's, that's really what it comes down to for me quite often when it comes time to make a decision. Anyway, I'll leave a link of where you can pick one up. It's the Badger. It is 26cc Wild Badger Power WB26BCI. That's the model number completely. And, well, maybe check them out next time you need one. Take care.